And move away from Cuba as a category three hurricane affecting mostly the province of Pinar del Rio and nearby municipalities. The Association of State Workers of Argentina mobilized to demand a wage rise, uh, having inflation in the middle of national work strike. The Nord Stream Pipeline Network, specifically Pipeline 2, which supplies gas to Germany from Russia, has uh, been damaged in three places. Hello, welcome to From the South. I'm Ana Marrero from the Telesur headquarters in Caracas, Venezuela. We begin with the news. Stay with us. I'm a move away from Cuba as a category three hurricane affecting mostly the provinces of Pinar del Rio and nearby municipalities. According to, to with Aileen uh, Justice, a meteorologist from Cuba Meteorological Institute, the eye of the hurricane got out of seed in the morning in an area located approximately 55 kilometers from Puerto Esperanza in the municipality of Viñales. The hurricane affected uh, the hurricane effects are being felt mostly in the western part of the island and to a certain extent in some provinces from the center of the country. The powerful storm entered in Cuban territory as a category 3 hurricane, but it will quickly gain a category 4 due to the strength of its winds. Most damage were recorded in Pinar del Rio with a block a road so completely powered OTS and damages at a homes and in a tobacco stores houses. Peru's government on Monday declared an anti-day state of emergency in the Amazon area affected by the oil spill. The measure comes after an rupture in the North Peruano Pablum spill some 5,000, and my pardon, 2,500 barrels of crude oil into the Cuninico River in the Loreto region, affecting six indigenous communities so where the about 2,500 people live. Authorities point out that the spill occurred in an area which uh, artisanal fishing takes place and urged that uh, the decision is intended to facilitate recovery and operation to minimize environmental contamination. Uh, according to the state-owned company Petro Peru, the spill already under control was a result of an intentional 21-centimeter cut of the pipe, line pipe. Vietnam uh, ordered a massive evacuation on Tuesday ahead of the arrival of uh, Super D from uh, Nuru to the city of uh, Da Nang. Accord uh, authorities reported that at least half of the airport, school, and public offices in several provinces were closed. After the it's uh, devastating passengers out to the Philippines, uh, where the it six it left six people dead, Nuru is uh, projected to make landfall in Vietnam on Wednesday at 11 p in the local time uh, with winds of 160 kilometers per hour. According to data from a uh, Hawaii base uh, joint uh, Typhoon Warning Center, Super Typhoon Nuru is the 60 major storm to hit Vietnam since 1945. On Tuesday, the rescuers continued to reach uh, for victims who fell into a platch hall in Guatemalan Highway. On Sunday, the heavy rains caused uh, the drainage system uh, to collapse, resulting in a large hole in the road. Until now, uh, four people traveling in a car down the road uh, were injured and rescuers extracted at a vehicle used in Ukraine. A 38-year-old woman and a 15-year-old daughter are still missing. Last uh, June, a similar sinkhole occurred in a few kilometers away of the main highway leading from Guatemala City to the Pacific Ocean. At least 44 people have been killed by the heavy rains this year, which have caused landslides and landslides on the roads of the Central American country.
In Guatemala, the Abelaya Aligned Indigenous Women continue participations for the third international summit to be held from October 9 to the 12th. The summit that comes up with the participation of 500 delegations intends to contribute to the development of the Abiyayala with the plurinational approach, taking into account the many common problems that native communities continue to face on a daily basis like climate change and the criminalizations of defenders of the central territories from state and private companies. According to the National Coordination of Guatemala with those uh, Rosalina Tuyug, that meeting uh, will also discuss languages and the use of their traditional uh, garments as a sign of self value and resistance. On Tuesday, Colombia repatriated 274 uh, pre Columbian uh, artifacts uh, recovered in the US. These objects, uh, which include uh, pots, indigenous necklaces, uh, and anthropomorphic uh, figures dating back 1,500 years, the pieces uh, were returned to Colombia after President Gustavo Petro's visit to New York. The Colombian heritage uh, have uh, been uh, recovered thanks to the work of the Colombian Foreign Ministry, International and National Societies, and the Colombian Institute of Anthropology who have managed to bring these pieces back to the country after several years of uh, young work. We'll take a short break now, but first, remember you can now follow us on our TikTok account as the Lesser English, in which you will be able to see news in different formats and news updates and more. For more news, stay with us. Welcome back to From the South. The Association of State Workers of Argentina mobilized on Tuesday to demand a wage rise, capping inflation in the middle of a national work strike. The workers uh, congregate at Avenida de Mayo and a 9 de Julio, from where they will march to the vicinity of the Ministry of Economy. After an emergency meeting of the National Board of Directors, the union called a strike despite the fact that the government announced its willingness to hold a dialogue schedule for this Friday. The protesters are demanding an emergency pay rises above inflation, the priority of the 2022 to 2023 tortures. The government of AA condemned the kidnapping of several public officials in the midst of the weight of violence that is shaking the nation. According to the Ministry of Education, at least four employees of the National Office of Cooperation in Education have been victims of this criminal acts during the last few weeks. The Ministry of Education criticized the climate of years as well as the attacks and threats against the school from compromising the reopening of the academic year. In view of the situation, the government committed itself to help these schools through a creation of a common fund while calling on the population to support the protection of the educational institutions. On Monday, United Nations officials reported the state of humanitarian catastrophe in Haiti to the United Nations Security Council as the nation hit new levels of desperations after two weeks of violence and attacks on folks in warehouses. And water for days. An economic crisis, a gang crisis, and a political crisis have converged into a humanitarian catastrophe. We must not lose hope but rather combine our efforts to find a pathway to a better tomorrow. A Haitian-led political solution is the first necessary step to address the current crisis. To support Haitians in their effort towards a better future, this council must take urgent action. I thank you. Instead of the progress we were hoping for and dreaming of, Today, the situation in Haiti has sadly reached new levels of desperation. In less than one year, the price of the basic food basket has increased by 52%. The price of petrol has doubled. Inflation stands at 31%, the highest it's been in recent years, and it's expected to rise 
further. Among the eight Ecuador's President Guillermo Lasso's warning national police lead to Colonel Juan Zapata as a new interim minister. Zapata is a policeman in a passing services who served as director of the emergency system and as president of the National Service of Risk Management and National Emergencies. The former interior minister was removed from his past Atlanta with Police Academy Director Francisco Sumaraga and two other General National Judicial Police Investigations Director Freddy Goyes and National Citizen Security and Public Order Director Giovanni Ponce following the murder of lawyer Maria Bernal. Bernal was, was a last seen on September 11 as she visited her husband, the main suspect in the case, at the police academy in Quito where he worked as an instructor. Her body was found 10 days later at the Hill near Body School. President Lasso said that the new interior minister will have to initiate a reform in the police force with a gender approach. Former president and candidate for the presidency of Brazil, Luis Ignacio Lula da Silva, who has his led in voting intentions under the rest of his opponents a few days before the general election set for October the 2nd. According to Result Officer Bay by Russian Intelligence and Strategic Consulting Institute, the Workers' Party candidate rose at one point in voting intentions to 48%, 17 points above his close rival right wing Jair Bolsonaro, and slightly higher than the different predicted last week. According to the most recent estimates, Lula Silva could win in the first round, leading the vote with 80 percentage points more than all other candidates together in terms of valid votes, discounting invalids and ballots. The government of China urged the UN to ensure that nuclear weapons stated to seriously fulfill their special responsibilities to reduce their arsenal. During his speech at the 77th United Nations plenary, the Deputy Permanent Representative of Yin, Yen Xuan, told the meeting that some countries move to escalate a nuclear armed rights must be halted immediately. Strong stress. However, the aggressive actions increase the risk of a more rise and nuclear proliferation, uh, hampering international efforts for the complete elimination of nuclear weapons. The officials border added that some countries are obsessed with strategic competitions between great powers and have provoked confrontations between allies. For quite some time, certain countries have been obsessed with strategic competition between major powers, continuously reinforcing military alliances, provoking confrontations, advancing the front deployment of strategic forces, as well as insisting on conducting nuclear submarine cooperation. These actions have intensified the risk of nuclear arms race and nuclear proliferation hinder the international efforts in nuclear disarmament and run counter to the goal on total elimination of nuclear weapons as well as establishment of a world of free of nuclear weapons which should be stopped immediately. In Japan, people and relatives alone as world leaders gathered for late former minister Shinzo Abe's funeral on Tuesday. Dignitaries from 50 countries attended the survey and international media highlight the presence of 4,300 guests, including 700 envoys from foreign nations and representatives of international organizations. The funeral began at 2 p.m. local time at the Nimpono Wudonkan Pavilion in Tokyo. Local sources have pointed out that this state funeral is the first since 1967 when Japan honored former Prime Minister Shigeru Yoshida. The ceremony is taking place and strong demonstrations protesting the high cost of the event financed by public fans and more than half of the Japanese people against the ceremony. Abe was murdered on July 8 during a campaign speech in nearby Yamato's Shida Station in the city of Nara. Oh, we have more news coming up after this final short break, so don't go away.
Welcome back. The Nord Stream Pipeline Network, in particular Pipeline 2, which supplies gas to Germany from Russia, has been damaged in three places, according to notice from its operator on Tuesday. According to Nord Stream agents statement, uh, the damage to the system is about to see, but is uh, unprecedented. Russia said it could not rule out a sabotage as the cause of damage, while other authorities are investigating the incident. Fritz Ford, the Danish Energy Authority, also said it could be a deliberate act as any such event was extremely weird. Sweden's National Seismology Center reported that it's a must. It's a major station recorded a powerful underwater explosion in the area where the gas lacks occurred. The leak from Nord Stream 2, southeast of the Danish Atlanta of Bernhol in the Baltic Sea, prompted the establishment of a fire. Now they call a mal including zones to protect the shipment from danger. Russia, President Vladimir Putin denounced uh, the position of the world's richest countries as a uh, predatory since uh, to over by food in the midst of a crisis. The Russian president accuses Western countries of uh, hindering experts of agricultural products and insists that, that the situation creates a risk for world's food security. Putin accuses uh, European nations of ignoring the poorest countries and keeping almost a totally of experts. He also announces that uh, the grain coming from Ukraine only uses poor countries as a transit road since uh, September the 23rd, uh, only for the of the 203 ships that had reached the mass of unravel and needed countries. I would like to point out that the supply of our grain and fertilizers abroad is still, unfortunately, not even for us, unfortunately, but for the global food markets. Sanctions against Russia threaten to further worsen the situation, the global food crisis that the world has been heading towards for several years now. This has absolutely nothing to do with Russia's special military operation in the Donbass. In this context, the Russian president points out that the U.S. is uh, aggravating the food crisis due to its uh, fall of financials and food policies. Some leading countries have built their financial and food policies in such a way that we are seeing the results we have today. And responsibility for it, of course, lies entirely with the so-called collective West. Tuesday, the last date of referendums uh, being held in the liberated territories of the Donbass, Aprilia, and Kherson. Leader of the republics recognized by Moscow have reported that it will decide on the necessity of introducing martial law. While awaiting the results of the votes from the regions to become part of, the Rus of Russia, they will make a legislative decision. This was stated on Tuesday by Leonid Pasin, the leader of Luhansk. Thus, they will become regions of the Federation. This decision will be made jointly with Russia. To this effect, uh, Anatoly Bibortnin, deputy head of the Security Committee of the Lower House of the Duma, also condemned on the possibility of introducing an anti terrorist operation regime in these territories. Uganda's health ministry indicated Ebola infections rose across several uh, districts in the country with at least uh, 33 confirmed deaths. Authorities uh, declared uh, the outbreak of the infection last Tuesday after a raid uh, Sudan strain uh, was uh, discovered in the Mondem district. Local media reported the virus uh, was uh, not spread uh, to Kingwengwa and uh, Kasanda district. Well, no cases were detected in the capital city, Kampala. Additional information showed the total number of cases rose to 36, including the probable and uh, confirmed ones. Once out of the 23 deaths recorded, five were confirmed cases, while 18 were probable cases.
Oh, well, sorry, we have come to the end of this is brief, but you can find this and many other stories on our website at telesurenglish.net. You can also join us on our socials, from Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram as well. For Telesur English, I'm from the South, I'm Ana Marrero, and thank you for watching.